right now, right next to the Mekong Long River. river. There's electronic stalls, there's a lot of clothes, shoes that can be bought. Um, later on we're gonna head over to uh, the uh, food street. Yeah, the food market, not not far from here. And we're gonna show you a little around a little bit there as well. You'll sometimes see just like the whole family, the extended family coming for dinner on a Saturday night or on a Sunday evening, just walking down the promenade, getting some exercise and yes. going to have some dinner. Yeah, and uh, a tip about these markets is that sometimes you can find really good quality products at these markets. It's not always, yes, sometimes you do find some products that's not that good of a quality, but if you really spend some time and, and you scout them out, you, really yes, find you can really find deals. good quality products at these markets. If it's clothing or electronic items or like I said earlier cosmetics whatever um, one or a couple of times you even came to do your nails yeah, here at the market. Yeah I've done my already. nails at the market for 40,000 kit yes. which is like 14 million dollars we yes. imagine yes. and properly. Uh, what's this? Banana, matched banana and this is? Uh, excuse me? Uh, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise? Black beans, corn, pumpkin, and rice. Okay, I'll have banana with taro and vanilla, please. A bit of a not banana, taro, and coconut. Okay. What will you have, Marshall? Uh, you can order me some sweet corn with. Um, chocolate please and here right next to the night market you'll see this big promenade you'll see lots of people walking exercising just chilling watching the sunset see lots of families over there so we're basically just walking and looking for a place to sit and enjoy our ice cream what it tastes like get a piece of banana as well <laughs> what it tastes like to you it reminds me a bit of um, sweet potato because uh, did you know that taro is actually a root vegetable oh. that originated in Southeast Asia so the yeah, they, they, the flavor comes from the taro vegetable so okay. it reminds me a bit of sweet potato but yeah, it's yeah. really good I like it okay interesting I actually didn't know that it was a root oh, vegetable there's rice in my banana like the rice is mashed with a banana I don't think you'll be able to see Oh wow! <laughs> they put rice in everything, even yes. ice cream. Rice is life here in Laos, guys. Really, they were saying that if you don't have rice in your house in Laos, then you don't have food in your house. Yep. <laughs> Are you ready to try yours? Yes. Let me hold this. All right. So I have. I took the sweet corn and just the chocolate. Um, so that's what I have. So let's see. Let's taste what it tastes like. So first the chocolate ice cream. Good chocolate flavor. Sweet or bitter. 
the chocolate flavor is good. It's a good chocolate flavor. I'm getting to the core now, digging into the core. So. Mm. Okay. So, I don't know if you remember, Udin. Back in Namibia, you get the canned food, sweet corn. Yeah. It's exactly that. That's what it is. But how does, how does corn and ice cream go together? For, because for the Lao people, that's common. But how do you find it? Actually, not too bad. It's actually like, it just tastes normal. Type of pancake. Is it? But I guess we'll know when we try it out. Okay, thank you. Sorry. How much? For the uh, 7,000 kip. 7,000 kip. Yeah. And this, what is this? Uh, chicken. Chicken? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I have one? Or how much is the chicken? Sorry. How much for the chicken? Same. Same. Yeah. Can I have one hot dog and one chicken, please? Okay, thank you. So, chicken. What, what did you order? Uh, one hot dog and one chicken. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can we have five, please? They prepared it for me they chopped it up uh, put it into a cup with some sauce put some coal slow on top of it so uh, yeah we're gonna try that now Rudine said she's gonna try the hot dogs and I will try the chicken so I'll go first tell you what it tastes like piece of chicken tastes like a chicken sausage like a chicken vienna but it's not bad it's, it's actually it's okay it's really not bad now it's my turn i have i want to take some coleslaw and some sauce yeah it's really good with the sauce so i put some coleslaw on and sauce 